Hey everybody, it's Matt from Rock U with another One Minute Masterclass. Today's Masterclass, the Pentatonic Box. Now some of you may have already heard of the Pentatonic Scale, and we'll cover that in a future Masterclass. But this is for those of you who are just getting started, this is even simpler. This is the Pentatonic Box. It's a way for you to play an awesome solo using only four places on the guitar fretboard. It's that simple. Let me show you how it's done. So step number one. First you need to figure out the root or the key of the song you're playing in. So if you hear this. Well, you don't know what key it's in, but you can see where the guitar, the other guitar player's fingers are. Often that'll tell you. Or you can just slide up until you hear a note that sounds like it's the right note. Oh, that sounds like it fits with, and it does. That's the A. Okay, so this song is in A. So the next thing we're going to find is whether the song is major or minor. This is a major chord, sounds happy. This is a minor chord, sounds sad. And you're going to use a different place on the fretboard depending on whether you have a major or a minor. In fact, sometimes you can use the same either way, but that's for another time. So what you're going to do now, let's say you've decided your song is in A on the fifth fret. You're going to go down to the pentatonic box for A minor which is three strings down on the same fret, the fifth fret, and you're going to use these four string positions. The fifth fret of the third string, the seventh fret of the third string, and the fifth and seventh fret of the fourth string. So it's just these four, five, seven, five, seven on the two middle strings. That's it. And then if you're hearing this, You know you've got an A minor, so that's where you're going to stay on the fifth fret. And your solo is all you got to do is play those four notes in some order that sounds good to you. It's that simple. If you want to make it a little even cooler, you can bend some of the notes. So just bend is just when you basically we covered this last week. You push up the strings. So. that one hand position, those four string positions, that's all you need. That's an A minor. Now if you had an A major, it might sound like this instead. Now you're going to do the exact same thing except you're going to move three frets back. That's all you have to do. So instead of the fifth fret, we're going to do this now on the second fret. By the way, remember that if you add 12 to any fret number, you get the same note. So we could also do it up here on the 14th fret. But I'll go down to the second fret to make this simple. So now here are our four string positions. Second and fourth frets on the third and fourth strings. Okay? So here is what you hear. And here you go. It's that easy. Here's a little bonus tip for you. There's another pentatonic box you can use with the same notes but an octave up. So if you're down here doing your A minor pentatonic box on the fifth and, fifth and seventh frets of the third and fourth strings, those same notes, one octave up, are found on the eighth and tenth frets, so three frets up, on the last two strings, the highest two strings. So if you're playing, if you're soloing to this. You can go up here, and then you can move down here. That's it. By the way, I should have mentioned earlier, you can also play any two notes together and get a cool sound out of that. See you next time for another One Minute Masterclass.